She was really into it. She was she was definitely into it, and I, it seemed like she was having a pretty good time dragging herself across this bathroom floor that we that we built on the set. You know. The song "Your Lie" is basically a relationship song where you're, you know, basically I think everybody's been through it, where you're hooked up with somebody that turns out in the long run to be somebody completely different than who you thought they were in the first place. So I wanted to have uh, something that represented, a, a girl that represented that in the video. And we had a, a limited budget and uh, said we just want to make her turn from really pretty into something really hideous during the course of the video. We did it all in one day. We were on the, the set of Fan of the Opera at Universal Studios. The way that this record was done was really an extension of how Miles Kennedy and I worked together the first time, where I write a piece of music, um, an arrangement, and then I give it to Miles and let him have at it, and he writes uh, a vocal melody and lyrics. And so that's basically how the whole album was written. Um, on tour, I would come up with whatever music idea that I had, send it to Miles, and then he would come up with a, a melody and we'd record it and then move on to the next one and we accumulated like, uh, I don't know, something like 20 songs that way. And Miles is a good lyricist and I sort of got a basic idea as to what the song more or less was about, just sort of during the writing process, where the, the, the direction the song was going or, or uh, you know, some of the basic uh, lyrical content. Um, but, you know, he, he had free reign to do whatever he wanted to do. It's, you know, it's far be it for me to try and, you know, steer the ship when it came to lyrics. He's a very honest, straightforward lyricist, so I don't want to sort of tamper with that. We're doing four shows with Motley, and I've had a, a, a pretty great relationship with, with Nikki and Tommy and Mick and Vince even for this whole time. I think there was some issues between Vince and Axel at one point, way back when, but I don't know if that had an effect on all the guys involved because, you know, we've been friends for a lot of years, and we actually toured with those guys back in, like, uh, I think it was 1988. So anyway, yeah, I hadn't even thought about if there was any conflicts. You know, that it's, it's going to be a really fun show because we go back, you know, such a long way. It's hard to say what the overall vibe is. I spent most of the time out in front in the audience and then towards, you know, as it got closer to our induction, I finally went back and, and warmed up on my guitar. And it was, it was a very sort of pleasant, but not, you know, like uh, out of control excitement over the... Uh, induction for any of the members involved it was very social well steve adler he was the one guy really the only guy who's been vying for a reunion since uh you know 1990 and so this was as close as it was going to get so he was pretty happy about it